Hey guys, it's uh, Terry. Well, welcome to the channel. Uh, and uh, this video is going to be a quick video. I just wanted to kind of go through the NFL spreadsheet uh, to kind of show everyone how it works, how to read it, uh, and just kind of explain uh, how it works. At the end of the uh, video, I'll also briefly touch on uh, future content coming on the channel. Uh, if you saw the free pick video, I touched on it a bit, but uh, we'll discuss it. Uh, my free CFL pick video. If you haven't checked that out, on the channel, uh, I gave out my pick for the Grey Cup winner, uh, a nice plus money play uh, for November. But today we're going to be looking at the NFL spreadsheet, uh, which is all ready to go, uh, all ready for week one. Um, it'll look a little bit different week two, but not too much. I'll explain. But um, team stats, pretty self explanatory. Uh, we're going to go with Baltimore Ravens as an example uh, for the first game on Thursday night. Uh, money line streak, they haven't played any games this year. Spread streak, the same. Total streak as well. Uh, so once we go to week one, uh, we'll have numbers here uh, for uh, so money line spreads, total streaks. Uh, and then as we go on the next few weeks, uh, we'll be able to build up numbers. Points per game is from last year. Uh, they're points per game and points against per game. Obviously, again, uh, that'll be updated more um, once we have some stats from this year. The spreadsheet right now is a lot of stats from last year, uh, but of course, that'll change over the next few weeks. Uh, starting with the quarterback uh, here, Lamar Jackson uh, is obviously Baltimore's quarterback. Passing yards per game. So this is uh, how much uh, passing yards the quarterback averaged uh, last year per game. Obviously, again, that'll change uh, after week two or week one of this year. Uh, passing touchdowns per game, an average of how many passing touchdowns uh, the quarterback has. Um, rushing yards per game, um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, an average of how many yards the quarterback uh, rushes per game. Uh, rushing touchdowns uh, per game, um, 0 0.19. So obviously that's... Uh, how many touchdowns the quarterback rushes for per game. Some are going to be really low. Other ones are going to be much higher. Interceptions thrown per game. Uh, that's the um, average number of interceptions the quarterback is throwing per game. Uh, so Lamar Jackson, uh, 0.37 interceptions per game. So um, pretty good number uh, for that. Uh, running back, pretty easy here. Rushing yards per game. Derrick Henry, obviously last year with Tennessee, uh, the players obviously have moved around, so uh, we're going with last year's stats. But uh, rushing yards per game, uh, 68.65 per game. Receiving yards per game, 12.59. Uh, uh, so when looking at uh, player props for the NFL, uh, there are going to be players that you can get bet their rushing yards. There are also players that you'll only be able to bet their receiving yards, but there are players that you can bet rushing and receiving together. Uh, so the great thing about my spreadsheet here is it's going to show you, obviously, how many uh, rushing yards they have per game, how many receiving yards they have per game. Uh, and it may be better to go with the rushing and receiving props for some players um, because there will definitely be running backs that um, catch the ball a lot as well and get receiving yards. Uh, the touchdown part. Um, so obviously that's going to change after week two. Uh, but this is um, how many touchdowns the player scored and how many games uh, they played last year. Uh, going after week one, uh, over half a touchdown, it'll be like uh, one out of three or two out of three or three out of four, meaning they have a touchdown in three or four games, two or three games, that type of thing. So it'll look a little bit different for uh, over half a touchdown once we have numbers from this season. Um, wide receivers and tight ends, again, rushing yards, receiving yards, over half a touchdown. Everything is the same as the running backs, uh, except obviously um, we'll have the receivers here uh, as well as um, a tight end. Uh, so lots of stats there. Uh, and finally, uh, we have the kickers. Um, so kicking props in the NFL can be uh, very profitable. Uh, depending on certain players. Field goal made per game. Uh, so this is the average number of field goals made per game. 
uh, by the kicker, uh, extra points made per game, uh, an average of how many extra points the kicker made per game, and then um, kicking points per game, self-explanatory, uh, how many points, uh, kicking points the kicker had per game, uh, obviously last season, and it'll be changed for this season. Uh, so kicking uh, point props uh, can be very fun and very profitable. Uh, I'll be betting them this year uh, at certain times for certain players. Uh, so um, that information is on the spreadsheet. Uh, so basically, we've got pretty much everything here that you could need for uh, player props. Now, there are going to be people that say, well, what about receptions? Um, I don't bet receptions, so that's why it's not in the spreadsheet. Um, that would just be an extra, whole extra section I'd have to update each year. Um, but that is the NFL spreadsheet. Also, the Legends tab here explains everything that I just explained in this video. Uh, it's all here. Uh, so any uh, other information um, that's needed will be on there. Uh, now, going back to this quickly before I touch on upcoming content on the channel. Uh, you may see uh, after you may see some uh, color here instead of all white. Uh, so what I'm considering doing uh, is um, if let's say uh, Lamar's passing yard prop is at uh, 210 uh, because he's averaging quite a bit more than that. Uh, I might have that in a certain color like green or something. Uh, and then um, maybe his rushing yards prop is 65, uh, but he's only averaging 51. I might put that in red. Uh, so I'm going to look into all that, uh, but those changes won't happen right away. Uh, but um, obviously, if you start seeing different colors popping up and different changes, go to the legend section, uh, and it explains everything on the spreadsheet that you need to know. Uh, it'll all be on there. Um, content on the channel. Uh, quite a bit of content coming. Uh, so obviously, September 1st. Uh, NHL season preview shows will start uh, each team, uh, one team a day, uh, every day uh, throughout September and the first couple days of October. Uh, so there'll be lots of hockey content coming, hockey futures. I'm going to have a bunch of different people coming on uh, the different shows with me. A um, lot of faces returning from last year, some new faces as well this year. Uh, and then uh, I'm also going to be uh, doing free pick videos on the channel. At least one a day, uh, giving out one pick I like um, for baseball, CFL, NFL, whatever. Uh, the Bet Zone uh, NFL show will be premiering on this channel uh, before week one. So really, there's going to be a whole lot of content coming on the channel. So make sure everyone to stay tuned. Uh, really excited for the NHL shows. Put a lot of time and effort into these as always. Uh, so they'll be great shows. If you didn't check out my CFL free pick video, go watch that now and see who my pick is to win the Grey Cup this season. I already locked it in and probably going to be looking to add more onto it uh, as well um, before we get to the Grey Cup. So uh, only start as a half unit play, but I'm going to be looking to bet more into it as we go. Uh, so uh, it'll be end up being a uh, much bigger uh, play than half unit play. But thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the uh, NFL spreadsheet. We'll have one for hockey as well when hockey returns. Uh, and then hope you guys enjoy all the content coming on the channel. And um, we will see you guys on September 1st for the first NHL season preview show. Thanks for watching, guys.